G'day guys, how are we going? Well, I just want to show you some of the items that I take away on my four driving trips. Now, some of these items could assist me if I maybe get a breakage on the patrol underneath, or I might have an issue with the Mighty ZD30 under the bonnet. Let's check them out. Okay, so let's get into some of the essential spares and just items that I take away, just in case of either a mechanical breakdown or something breaks underneath my patrol or one of your mate's vehicles. Well, this is the gear that I've got. Now, first one I would highly recommend having in your kit is this SOS silicon tape. Now, this is really, really good stuff for, you know, radiator hoses, uh, turbo boost hoses, anything like that that generates a lot of heat. Uh, really, really good for, you know, sealing up a split if you don't have a spare one. Um, that's well worth getting instead of that. And this stuff has saved me on one occasion uh, where I didn't actually have a roll of this, but a mate of mine that I was away with at the time did, which I was very grateful of it. And we were heading up Hearn Spur Track. Now, some of you guys might know Hearn Spur Track uh, between Wanangatta and Dargo, very, very steep country. And in the middle of pretty much nowhere, a long way to get out. And I was heading up there and this horrid noise was coming out from under the bonnet and I'd split this turbo boost hose, this turbo hose here. This goes from underneath my intercooler and sits on top of the turbo. And yeah, it's split and it's not the first one I've split. So we, lucky enough, he had a roll of this. We wrapped it all up and sealed all that, that, that split up. And that was enough to get me home. I couldn't believe how well that stuff worked. It's just amazing. So I got it home and then, yeah, then ordered a new hose and, and sorted out that way. But now, I've learned after that, because it's not the first one I've done, I actually carry a spare because because of that bend in it, you know, you might might be away with a mate and he might have a spare radiator hose or something that's straight or not quite the right bend. Well, um, so yeah, so now I carry a full spare hose and then I just cut it to length for whatever I need when I'm gonna replace it if I have to. Um, this item here, just some really handy tie wire. It's a really light gauge wire, bends really easily, ties up really easy. You know, again, if you bust a suspension component under your full drive, or you might be towing a caravan or a camper trailer and you break some suspension components, it would be really handy stuff for, you know, getting it back up, lifting it up to, you know, where you roughly need it and then tie it up with that. Just enough to get you out on, you know, back out on the main road or, you know, get you, you know, to a town where you can get it fixed properly. But yeah, some handy tie wire. Um, good old zip ties. <laughs> you can't go away with that zip ties. Yeah, you know, these are great for playing pranks on your mates if you want to wrap them around his tail shaft and stuff like that, which I think all of us have probably had that done. But um, but yeah, I carry these, and if that's not long enough for what I've got to do, you know, you can zip to, you can join three, four, half a dozen of these together if you've got something a bit bigger than what that can actually take. So zip ties are really handy to have in your kit. And then a couple of rolls of tape here. I've got my duct tape. Yeah, that, that's great stuff there. Wouldn't leave without a roll of duct tape. But this one here, this gaffer tape, this sticks to absolutely everything. It's really, really strong tape. Um, so yeah, well worth having to say that. You know, you might, you know, might hit a roux or get some body damage or something like that. You might have a panel of your four drive hanging off that, you know, rubbing on your tires and you want to get it back up, you know, so it's not rubbing on your on your tire. Well, that would might be just enough to, you know, tape that that panel back up over the bonnet there to get you out of trouble where you can get it fixed. So yeah, gaffer tape, really well worth having a set of that. And then this one here, the brake and clutch fluid. I carry a small bottle of this now, after again, a few years ago, doing haunted stream track with a mate. And um, I got some damage to the slave cylinder uh, underneath the patrol there, um, which is a very vital piece of equipment for changing my gears. But I had some uh, then issues with cl um, clutch fluid leaking out. So lucky enough, he had a small bottle of this, uh, just enough where we could keep topping it up. I was able to then get it out all the way out of out to the track, out the main road, back to his place, um, get it sorted out a little bit more, and then I was able to drive it home and get it to my mechanics the next day. But yeah, brake and clutch fluid, whether you've got to top up your you know your reservoir and your in your brakes or top up your clutch fluid, because it's the same stuff, well worth having at least a small bottle of that just in case for yourself or one of your mates. And then ratchet straps. Look, I've, I do carry probably three or four of these when I go away. I've just got the one here now, but you know, ratchet straps, one there, yeah, they're certainly very handy if, you know, if you're tying your firewood up on your roof and whatever other items you've got up there. But again, when it comes to, you know, suspension components, um, you know, to, you know, you might break something again on your full drive or camper trail or whatever. Well, you can use this to wrap around, ratchet it up, might be enough to, you know, lift that, that broken axle or whatever back into place. If you break a spring back into place with that, and then wrap it up nice and tightly with that, with the uh, tie wire there. 
and you know could be again just enough to get you out on the main road where you might need a tow truck or back into a major town where you can get it fixed properly so those items there are certainly great now we'll get into my little box here because this little box is all for the mighty zd30 under the bonnet now i'm probably sure some of you are probably saying well maybe i should be carrying a whole zd30 because they're supposed to be so unreliable that i should be carrying a whole zd30 in the back of my patrol when i go away well yeah not the case and that's just an impossible thing to do so um <laughs> but we'll get into some of these items here now these are just some um some turbo boost hoses again they can split fairly easily so i just carry some spares of those well i've got to put a new one on or you know cut another length to maybe patch one up so certainly i carry a couple of those and then i get into these items here i'll get this one out as well um, and this is the idler pulley now this and the belt is probably more unreliable that pulley is probably more unreliable than that well, that my zd30 is ever going to be um, so i carry a full assembly because on one occasion uh, when i was doing cape york a good few years ago now we we're halfway up uh, heading towards bramwell junction and this thing started the pulley started squealing its head off and in the end it seized absolutely just destroyed uh see so it wouldn't spin anymore it destroyed the belt so we had to tow the patrol into bramwell junction leave it behind and i can't tell you how difficult that was i tell you leaving the patrol at uh bramwell junction there so i continued the trip on up to the tip with the guys i was with and then before we left bramwell we were on the phone we had some parts so these parts here flowing up from cairns up to Sasha, and then we picked the parts up at Sasha continued on to the trip onto the tip and then put the patrol back together again on, on the way back down but so i've got a bit of a score to settle with cape york because this little thing here was the only thing that stopped me getting the patrol so i've been there but the patrol hasn't been there so yeah got a bit of a thing with cape york i've got to get there and maybe go and do it again and so yeah so these are just ones that i've replaced over the time again still sort of nothing wrong with them um, but a great spare so if you're ever going to change one don't chuck it out keep your belt keep your pulley try and get a whole arrangement rather than just the pulley because it's so much easier to fit up that whole gear you know that little piston there that's still perfectly good good condition um, so well worth having one of those if you've got either a gu with the with the three liter with this sort of arrangement on it or you know you might have a full drive with this same setup with just this one pulley because that one pulley it drives everything that one belt drives everything so you know drives your alternator your fan your air conditioner the whole shoot match and uh yeah so if that seizes and destroys that belt in a world of trouble you're going absolutely nowhere so yeah get a set and uh, spare one of those if you've got that sort of vehicle with that arrangement and then just in here just a set of lock nuts there um you know just a handy size I'm not going to fit everything but just handy and then some spare hose clamps i've got some of those there you know if you destroy or you know you might cross thread you know a radiator hose or something like that or turbo hose or something so that's well worth having some spares of those and then just a couple of small rolls of tape electrical tape and a few other things there and i actually carry a second belt <laughs> that's how that's how uh yeah unreliable i am or not confident about these things because um yeah i actually carry two belts um and then just in this box here these are just for you know so some suspension components there for my sway bar links just carry a spare one of those because i have you know damaged those uh plenty of times so that's a good spare one to have and just a few bolts that go with it um just for you know if i've ever got to change one out there in the bush and then just the last one here just a split pin there which you know that's if you're towing or your mate's towing or something like that and he you know, loses the split pin out of what's holding his uh, tow ball to the back of his full drive well there's a spare one so that's probably handy having that but here you go guys that's my bunch of essentials you can't carry everything you know so that's uh that's enough for what i need to get me out of trouble get me back to a main road and get the sorted out whatever gets broken so thanks very much guys thanks very much for watching we'll catch you on the next one Uru.